Then I have this beautiful enchilada rice. I don't usually let the young ones do color in their braids. Rainbow. Rainbow? <laughs> Creamy white chicken chili goodness. <laughs> you gotta try this one if you like that kind of thing. Here's the fiber. All right, let me show you what's happening on the homestead today. It makes it so easy to separate all the hair on it. It's like literally a hair holder for when you're braiding. Good morning, guys. <laughs> what was that? We wish you a Merry Christmas? <laughs> Those cookie cutters are inspiring you, huh? We just got up a little bit ago. I've been reading to Tori in the book. And so we have out some kinetic sand, eating some breakfast, yes. <laughs> we are headed to Florida soon. And I am at that point there. It feels like so much to do. You're wondering, is it worth it? <laughs> Going out of town is hard, especially when you have like a business. <laughs> You gotta get everything done because you want to have some break. I have a lot to do, a lot of school. Want to wrap up this week. We've fallen more behind because I'm trying to get all the things done. And so I do have a few days next week. I called school off, but we're gonna catch up a few days before we leave. But I'm gonna need that time to pack up. We're taking our RV for the first time for a long trip, but a lot of our RV things have come out of the RV into our farmhouse. <laughs> so I gotta remember some things I definitely remember, but I'm hoping to remember everything to put back in for the long trip. Yes? Yes? Nothing? You have nothing to say now? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> so lots and lots to do. I'd like to meal prep today because it just helps our days go better. We'll see if I get any of those things done. We got a lot of laundry to do. Going back and forth between the two houses has definitely thrown off my rhythm, my normal rhythm, and I haven't found the new one yet. So I think we're gonna alter our habits a little where we go maybe a little longer, but every other weekend or every other week rather for a number of days. Anyway, I've got a long list of laundry and making bread and making meals, catching up on school. I wanna braid all the girls' hair because hello beach weather. Tori's in there practicing, but I'll show you hers. I started hers last night. Do you guys all want braids for the, for the beach? Yeah! Desi's just came out. We love those big curls. But also, oh, it's so much easier with sand. <laughs> she normally loves braids, but she's enjoying her big floof. We're all enjoying her big floof. One day you're gonna be in the braid lineup and Belle's gonna take her braids out. Are you gonna do that today? Yeah. Give your hair a little time to rest and we'll braid it right before. We'll braid hers last so that her hair has a little time to rest. You wanna be last too? You wanna have more time with your curls? <laughs> this, one first. This, this one is first. Well, Tori, this one is Tori's I'm first, second. and then I'll do Noel, and then I'll no. do Hope. Yeah, and then I'll do Desi if she's if she wants it. I want, we'll... a, I want this hair by the beach. Yeah, you do. Ooh, yeah. that's gonna be hard to go through. That's for sure. Yeah, and get all the sand out of. Mhm. Mm we'll see. We'll see what happens. But I did let them, I don't usually let the young ones do color in their braids. I mean, I do whatever Belle wants, obviously. But the younger girls, it just, to me, I like the black braids. They love braids and I put them in for them, but I, that's the one thing I ask is like, let's keep it black. So for vacation, I let them go to some color, I think. At least Noelle and Tori, Tori's are, dark purple yeah. and black. For vacation braids, we can have some color. <laughs> Turquoise. Turquoise? And I want purple. And I want green. <laughs> you want green? <laughs> You're not getting braids. But you have green PJs on, so that works out nicely. Rainbow. Rainbow? <laughs> All right, let's show off your tail. <laughs> we didn't get much done last night, but we got a lot combed out. But now I'm coming up the top, so it'll be easier. Yes, and we got all the hair ready. Oh, I gotta show you something I got. I saw this on a YouTube video a long time ago, and I've been <laughs> waiting to decide if it's worth it to get one and store it or whatever, and I finally got one, and I, it makes it so easy to separate all the hair on it. It's like literally a hair holder for when you're braiding. So cool, I put it up high because 
it makes the work of it go much faster because you're not separating as you go, yes, I'm coming, but also I put it up high then so little ones don't mess it all up. Oh, yes, okay, I'm coming, I'm coming back. Oh, I got a judge. I'm not mm -hmm. playing that That's one. That's very, very I'm nice. Not I'm, not that one. I'm not that one. Oh, why'd you call me? So this is a bowl. Okay, and a bowl. And this is a person. Mm -hmm. And then this is Shushi. Shushi? <laughs> I love it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> these look like oatmeal cookies. No, these are the grass and these are the people. Oh, these are what? These are the grass. The grass. Oh, that makes sense. Yes. This is your toast <laughs> next to the kinetic sand. Okay. And this is what? Okay. Oh, all right. <laughs> and this is the cutest baby in all the land who's about to turn one year old and has slept through the night all week. What? What? I'm a clap for Yay! Peace, I'm so proud of you. These are my kinetic sand projects. They're so good that you can eat them. <laughs> mm -hmm. I throw them in the toaster and make butter. <laughs> Eli is my kid that gets up really early. Yes. Gets all his schoolwork done. Not all of it. Almost all of it. Usually by nine, sometimes ten. No. I need a restart. Not all the time. <laughs> I need a Not all the time, but lately. I remember last year I was like, oh, we haven't no, I, like, I finished my school by 9.30 and I didn't really wake up that early. Well, I wake up at like so that have more 9. Sand, I'm going to I used to wake up at 6 and finish at 8. Oh, I get it. Mm -hmm. day, so. Do you get it done at night? What's your secret? The night before? I, uh, I wake up early. You wake up early and get started? Yeah. Nice. What do you know, use? You do more. All, String all. cheese? But well, what do you eat them with? Show me. <laughs> Guys, if you were sending us these chopsticks, they're so cute, and the kids can, the little ones even can use them. Hey, Mom, one morning. To eat their cut up string cheese. Mom, one morning for breakfast, <laughs> I was eating eggs, mm -hmm. and I had it on an American, like the place Matt that shows the picture of America, mm -hmm. and I was using chopsticks for the eggs, and I was drinking chai. Wow. <laughs> I'll make up. Here's the fiber. All right, let me show you what's happening on the homestead today. I ended up buying the big thing of Azure Standard Honey again. It's a little more crystallized than last time. I assume maybe because of the weather. Last time we got it, maybe it was warmer. Yeah, but it's really high. It's actually a lot of work. We're putting it in jars. It's just so much easier yeah, to you use. Don't want to force it out. In these half gallon jars. Belle's taking her hair out. Don't mind us and all the hair today. Hey, I already got this one. That's cute. Yeah, but like, look at the spoon. <laughs> that spoon's supposed to be straight. I mean, we're we're basically a little house on the prairie over here. Yeah, this is. <laughs> yeah, that's what they did all day. Yeah, wow, scoop scooped honey out of the, the container they bought. If we find maple trees on our property, can we get maple syrup in Nebraska in the winter, in the spring? No. Why? Because we're not in Canada. <laughs> I was gonna say because we're not on the East Coast. All right, I'm getting a lot done today. I got a big list, and I have Emily here, so she helps. Multiply my time. She's checking math homework. That's your favorite, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, you're the favorite. That's Yay. You're the favorite. <laughs> All right, I switched the laundry several times today. Got some bread in my machines. That's when I realized I needed more honey. His payment for helping with the honey is a spoonful of honey <laughs> in his mouth. So he grabbed the biggest spoon in there first <laughs> and then laughed and put it back. <laughs> Is this too big? Oh man, you don't want to eat all that. <laughs> I don't like any very much. That grosses me out. All right, for the first meal, I'm going to make an enchilada rice bowl. This is a vegetarian meal. I've never made it on camera before. I'm going to make this a huge batch and then we're going to use it twice. So we'll eat it probably tonight. Yeah, probably tonight. And then maybe eat it again tomorrow or the next day with tacos like mixed in with the taco meat kind of or on the side but i'm only thawing three pounds of ground beef for tacos and i usually mix in brown rice anyway so we'll just use this as a mix in uh, you could definitely add meat to it if you want it's going to be good let me show you the steps i like to cheat by the way using i love to cook brown rice in my instapot it makes it go so much faster it's not cheap it's the real thing it's a real recipe <laughs> shouldn't say it that way let me show you I'm dumping in three cups of brown rice, and then I'll use four and a half cups of water. 
I set that on high pressure for 20 minutes. I'm going for about one cup of chopped onion and about two cups of chopped pepper. I ended up using three peppers there. Look how amazing and put together I look right now <laughs> with all this. You've made good progress, Belle. Good progress. <laughs> adding in those peppers, I'm gonna saute them until the peppers are soft. Next, I'm adding in a combo of canned tomatoes with fresh garden tomatoes to equal about two cups of tomatoes. And I'll cook that until they are soft. One thing I love about this recipe is you don't have to have enchilada sauce. We're just making our own through tomato sauce. I already poured all the spices on top, but I use chili powder, cumin, salt, and pepper. guys I've added black beans in here it's looking so good we're just gonna throw in the rice oh and the seasonings are obviously went in already some rice and cilantro and bake it top with cheese and bake for 20 minutes at 400 degrees with a good helper do I do it when all of it's brown so all of it's brown yep what else can I do top what else can I do <laughs> what else can I she wants to do something with a knife. That's what she told me. <laughs> okay, next I'm making a white chicken chili. That sounds great for a fall night, right? A cold fall night. Right now I make about one and a half of the recipe, and that's a good amount for us. So to give you an idea, sometimes I have done two, like double it. Uh, it comes to the very top, which I don't think is the best for pressure cookers. <laughs> and we don't need it. I think we'll get be fine with one and a half. So I started with nine chicken thighs. I'm gonna throw on some black beans and white beans. Can I put this in? Mm -hmm. Go ahead, tip it. Make sure they go in. Thank you, perfect. Good work. Again, same spices. I am adding my own ranch seasoning to this, and then the last thing it needs is cream cheese. Yes, cream cheese. It's good. Some people do it before they cook it, some people do it after. My cream cheese is not currently thawed, <laughs> so I'm gonna thaw it. I don't, I'm not cooking it for tonight anyway, so it works out just fine. And I'll put some cream cheese on top. I like to put it in before I cook it. It makes an amazing stew. I've done this for company a lot. I've even done it like New Year's Eve, and. Everybody loves it, always. It's so good, when it's done, I'll write all the directions below, but when it's done, you pull out the chicken, shred it, put it back in, creamy white chicken chili goodness. <laughs> you gotta try this one if you like that kind of thing. Okay guys, here's the lineup for what I did today. I did it pretty fast too. Well, first of all, I've got some bread about to go in the oven. It looks and smells amazing. I'm gonna make some more this weekend too. I'm just gonna keep those bread machines busy. Then I have this beautiful enchilada rice, a nice vegetarian bowl, we'll eat that tonight. Then we'll have the leftovers with a taco, probably in a couple nights with taco meat. I have taco shells, we'll just do basic tacos with some beautiful enchilada rice on the side. I keep calling it beautiful. And then I have some white chicken chili that we'll do tomorrow. Like I said, I'm putting cream cheese on the top. I'll stick this pot in the fridge tonight and then I'll stick it in my pressure cooker tomorrow. It's so fast, so easy. Shred up that chicken and have a good meal, yum. It was worth it tonight. 
I did thaw a whole packet of chicken and only used half of it. So the rest of this I'm also going to throw in a pressure cooker right now with some taco seasoning, shred it up, and then I'll use that for my sheet pan quesadillas another night Then I need a fast meal or we'll take it with us when we're traveling in our RV. And yeah, that'll be easy, fast dinner to use. Well, I could also use it as taco meat too, I guess. Noelle, the one who was in here helping me so much, told me that she requests tacos this week. All my kids love tacos. They could have it once a week easily. We should just do that. We could make different variations of it or whatever. Taco night. Taco Tuesday? Should we just be basic? <laughs> hmm. Maybe we should. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's a good original idea. I love it. Oh boy, I got some work to do here. <laughs> Whoa, this child was just crying for bread because he smelled all of this. Oh, these loaves with this whole wheat, hard red wheat ground up. They are amazing. Is that good? Oh, you can eat it outside. He calls it chai because we eat toast with chai a lot. So he calls bread chai. He's mixed up. But it's so cute. We just let him be mixed up. We do correct him, but it never works. Anyway, I'm loving my mock mill. Love uh, 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 loving it. It's so easy throwing that those grains in there and it just comes out in a bowl and then I have this nice big bowl I'm gonna make another loaf of bread with. It's so great. I do have a discount code for you guys down in the description box below. There's a link to follow for it if you're interested in getting a grain mill. I'm dishing it out. This is good stuff right here. You could eat it with avocado on top, even a fried egg on top for extra protein. Yum. Look it at this. Good. Yeah, it, oh, Solo's here. See, he does live here, guys. It smells good. <laughs> Smells good. Um, somebody sent this cute outfit. I don't know who it's from because there was no note, but it's so pretty. It's onesie for peace. Not for me, obviously. <laughs> and a little jumper. So cute. Okay, look at all this honey. Some of it's really hard still. If it was a hot sunny day, I would stuck it out in the sun. We bent a spoon, <laughs> tried to put it into jars. Do you have ideas for that honey? Yeah. Just give it some time, a little bit of time. And it will turn to liquid. It will turn to liquid. <laughs> I think it crystallizes given time. No, it does. And especially when it gets colder, we could just, usually they warm it up a little, heat it up a little, but. Yeah, and we're trying to keep it raw, but we may have to just to transfer mm -hmm. it. He keeps taking bites. <laughs> well, why transfer it? We don't need to transfer it now. I know, but it's just, stuff you got. that's true. Just save it that way. All right. I make too much work for myself <laughs> sometimes. All right, guys, what do you think of the food? Do you like this meal? I haven't tried it yet. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's really good. It's really good. It's good Glowing spicy. reviews. What you put in it? It's good but spicy. Yeah, it's enchilada. It's supposed to taste like enchiladas, you know. Mm. It does taste like enchilada. Don't listen to those kids. This food is really, really, really good. I think it's really good. I just should have left some of the peppers out maybe because some of them don't love peppers. They pick around the peppers, but it's very good food. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching tonight. I hope you have a good day. Bye. <laughs>